Hey guys, how are you doing? I have decided that I'm going to finish the week off with a vlog. So how are you doing guys? Um, so basically it's about 12 o'clock. I haven't just got up. <laughs> I've been up for ages. I just have not got round to doing my hair yet. But something arrived in the mail. So I'm going to open it up. And I'm, I, I mean, I already know what it is, but I'm just going to give my first impressions of it. So yeah. Let's open up this package. But I got a package in the mail. Um, all I've done to the package is just take off the label of my address. I wonder where I ordered it from, guys. Can you guys guess? Have a guess where I ordered this package from. Hmm. I don't think there's any clues on the box at all. Alright, let's open this up. I'm so excited. Oh, she's... Oh, wow. She's better than I imagined. Okay. Package empty. And this is what she came in. This is the Papo um, dough. I'll try and find the model number actually quickly for you guys. And she's model 53014 if anyone was interested. And she looks amazing. I mean, that's what she came in. A little air bag and she's got like a stand for her feet. So let's just open her up and have a little look. And I'll give you my first in impressions of her. She's really pretty. Now I like Papo figures. I'm not going to say I like them more than she like, but at the minute I kind of like them more than she like because of the size. But yeah, look at her. She is beautiful. And she actually reminds me of Bambi's mother um, out of the film when she's like got her head up and she's like, Bambi, the thicket. And then they run and then the really sad part where she gets shot still brings a tear to me. Ah. So here she is. Oh, wow, she is really pretty. Let's give you guys an overall view of her. Now, I mean, I'm not, I, I'm still a massive fan of Shalike, don't get me wrong, but for a Papa figure, I love her. She is beautiful. I mean, look at that face. Try and get the camera to focus on it, if it will. But she's beautiful. But yeah, I've got two um, Shalike fawns that don't actually have, like, any family at all, like any mothers, fathers. I don't have any other deers besides those two um, fawns. And I saw her online and I was like, she is gorgeous and I have to get her. So I purchased her and she is gorgeous. Okay guys, so here is the Papo dough. And here is a Shalike baby. Now they're a little bit smaller, but I think that's kind of cute because it kind of, you know, makes her look more of a, you know... Looks like they've got a lot of growing to do. So this one is Bambi and this one's Feline, obviously. But I don't know what to call the mother. I think I want to call her Mitzi, but I'm not sure. But if you guys can suggest me names in the comments, that will be awesome. I will do a review on her very soon. But overall, I have to say she's a great figure. Although she did come with a scratch, that's fine. Because I was expecting that because obviously she's been mailed to us. And I'm so glad I purchased her. So yeah, back to the vlog. Okay guys, so since I last spoke to you, I have been outside and I've been taking some photos of the Papo dough. Um, I may put some of them in the thumbnail or I may put some of them in this video. I'm not really sure yet, but who knows? Uh, I've been editing the vlog as well. It's looking good so far. And now it's time to go and pay our little friend Harvey a visit. So let's go. Hey guys, it's Chloe here. We are so close to 200 subscribers. It is amazing. So I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you guys for all the support you've shown me and for generally just watching. <laughs> it means a lot. So thank you for that. 
So yeah, I just thought I'd give a little update on that. So we're at 192. As soon as we reach 200 subscribers, I will be doing a live stream. Um, but that looks like it will be happening very soon. So I can't wait for that. Um, we're also almost, we're like at 17,000 views pretty much, which is amazing. So thank you to everyone who's ever clicked on a video of mine, even if you're not subscribed. I appreciate the fact you took the time to watch any of my videos. So thanks. I appreciate you and I love you. Back to the vlog. All right, guys, so I'm currently in the dining room of my house, and Cassie is being crazy. Why are you so crazy? You're a crazy doggy. You're so crazy. She doesn't wag her tail, she wags her whole body, which I love. She's done that ever since she was a puppy. Do you need a wee wee? That'll be a yes. So, round the table. And again, round the table. And again. I love this. Sometimes I make her do it for ages and I'm so cruel. Yes, I know. I know you want to go with you the boo -boos. I know, I know. Oh my God, you're so crazy. You're so crazy. Does the light work? No? Oh, uh, yeah. You're so crazy! And my dog's taking a mess. Hello, Timmy! You're not as crazy, are you, Beau? You're not as crazy. You're, you're the calm one that we all like. You're just crazy! Go away! <laughs> She's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't like the craziness. Thank you for coming to say hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Cassie, can you not shove past people? Hello, Tammy. I love these two dogs. So cute. So yeah, I just really wanted to show you guys <laughs> a few changes we did to the dining room. So at the weekend, we bought this plastic dog bed and we just put their old blankets in it. We are planning to make it to get them a cushion so it's a bit more comfortable. But it was so funny when we brought it home because um, I paid for it. Um, my mum gave me some cash and I paid for it and stuff like that. And getting this in my dad's truck. My dad's truck is massive. I kid you I kid you not. It took us like 20 minutes to try and find a suitable place to put it. We tried to put it in the back seats. But because he had all his work gear in there, it wasn't working. So then we tried the boot because he's got all his tools in there. That didn't work. So we had to move a few things around and we eventually got it in. <laughs> And I think the dogs have slept in it twice since we bought it. I mean, they've slept in it, as you can see, because all the blankets are usually all nice and neat. But I think Cassie's been in it. Cassie goes in it the most. This monster over here, this one right here, doesn't seem to like her dog bed. Hmm? Don't you like your dog bed? She goes, I'm saying nothing. You will not make me talk. <laughs> Guess which dog he's using to bed? <gasps> this dog he's using to bed. She's so crazy. Hi. Hello. Hi. I like you. You want my best friend? No? Don't touch me. I really want to see a Halloween Q&A and you've got some Halloween-y questions that you would like to ask me. Please leave them down in the comments below because I will be doing a Halloween Q&A on not this Monday coming, next Monday. So there won't be the Nintendo dogs then. But that's because it's Halloween. And it's spooky and everyone likes to be spooky on Halloween. Oh. Even spooky people. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I am doing a Halloween Q&A, so I am going to get some like pumpkin, sort of like dress up a bit. Let me know what you want me to be dressed up as. And there's going to be someone who's thinking or saying, the, saying this as they're watching it. You've already got your Halloween costume on. <laughs> I've already heard it, don't worry. My dad says it every year. He goes, Chloe, take off the Halloween mask. 
Thank you, Daddy, for so much self-confidence. <laughs> you can let me know. I do want to do Vlogmas, but um, I only want to do Vlogmas if you guys want to see Vlogmas. So if you guys want to see Vlogmas, let me know. Um, if, I also want to do a Christmassy Q&A close to Christmas, so um, let me know if you want to see that. And then I'll, go, I'll let you guys know when you can leave your Christmassy Q&A questions. Um, that way it'll be easier to find them and you've got more chance of being in a video that way. And, you know, I want to include everyone's questions. So yeah, if you guys have got any questions at all for the Halloween Q&A, leave them below in this video and you'll be seeing that video very, very soon. Go out trick or treating and stuff like that. But there's like been these sightings of these like bloody people dressed as clowns and like the knives and stuff like that. And I've actually seen videos of people like they've seen these clown people or they've like got someone dressed up as one of them. I don't know. <laughs> Turns out it's faked or not, but they've gone after these like clowns and stuff like that. And I don't see what, why would you do that? Why would you go after someone that could potentially kill you or stab you and injure you? I don't understand that. So, and I also just think it's going to ruin trick or treating and stuff for kids because parents won't want to take their children trick or treating because they want to keep them safe and stuff like that. And also, um, People won't want to answer the door in case, you know, it's people dressed as clowns and they're going to stab you. I think it just ruins, like, Halloween. I see it as, like, a child, not a child's, like, holiday, but it's, like, you know, it's a fun time of year where people get dressed up and stuff like that as ghouls and goblins and whatever. And, you know, you just have fun. I mean, I don't even know how this whole clown craze started, but, yeah. I just kind of want to warn you guys, if you are, like, going out trick-or-treating, please be careful and stay with people you know and don't go off on your own and stuff like that. I know, I know it's like, I sound like a parent. I sound like, you know, your grandmother or your mother. Don't go off on your own. You stay with your friends. But honestly, um, with these, like, hooligans wandering around, like, there's been signs in London, there's been signs in America of them, and honestly, I don't know where the craze started from, and I don't know what it is. I don't want to know what it is, but I just want people to be careful if they are going out trick-or-treating on Halloween. Because I just have this feeling, like, on Halloween, like, more people are going to, like, be around. Like, the more clown people are going to be around, I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. Flair. <laughs> Um, okay guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog here guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a thumbs up. Those lovely thumbs up. Leave them. All of them. All of the thumbs. You have two thumbs. Leave them. Both. <laughs> um, leave some beautiful comments as always down below. Whether it be the Christmas, uh, you know, whether I should do a Christmas Q&A. You know, Halloween-y Q&A questions. Would you like me to do Vlogmas or not? Yay or nay? Who knows? Um, also don't forget to hit the, that subscribe button because I would really appreciate it and I cannot wait for to do the live stream for you guys. Who knows, I could um, have 200 subscribers and do the live stream on Halloween. Crazy! That's crazy! <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know if there's anything you want to see in the live stream. I haven't really planned what I'm going to do in the live stream, but if you guys have got any suggestions, as always, leave them below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see all you beautiful people. Not tomorrow, because it's Saturday. Monday with another video. Bye, guys.